Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today for Mommy Monday, we are talking about something interesting that I recently came across on Amazon and just really wanted to share them with you because I've started using them and just wanted to tell you my thoughts on them. So, let's hop right in. If you guys have watched my other Mommy videos, uh, I did mention that my son is currently teething, we're working on molars which are some of the most painful teeth to come in and when they are about to pop through or they just pop through, he is really uncomfortable, his mouth is very sore and the only things that we can really get him to eat are like the food pouches, he loves those. So the only bad thing is that he's learning, he can either squeeze the pouch and everything will come out and create a mess or he can kind of turn them upside down and it's just I rem there was one case where he got all over the car seat it was it was bad so I decided to do some research and see if there's anything out there that would help with that issue because I want to be able to trust him like we're in the car on the go just to give him the pouch and not worry about that and have to worry about like oh is he going to squeeze it or is he gonna like me today so I was finding different things and I decided to go with what is called the pouch pal first of all look at this packaging it is so stinking adorable I love it it is kind of like this mint green and you can choose different colors but we'll get into that in a second it is this mint green it says no mess six months or older and it is BPA free I think at this point everything in the world is BPA free just about but this is the no squeeze food pouch feeder it has directions on the back on how to kind of add the pouch in there and make it work and just a little bit of a description and then we can take it out. I've already been using the other one that we have and putting that to the test. So this is what it looks like. It does look like a pouch, just a squeezed pouch. And you open it like this. The little nozzle, first of all, comes out on that end. And you just open it by, I kind of just squeeze the sides. And when it's open, you will notice that the pouch kind of fits right in here. And then you can actually put the cap underneath so you're not losing it. Because I know he doesn't always want to finish them or anything like that. Or if I want to throw it away. Or for some reason, if he's just saving it and not eating it, I can just store it here and then cap it off and actually put it in the diaper bag like this, which is great. And when you, there are instructions because when you put this in, you are kind of getting the air out of the bag as it's going in there so that they, with a lot of kids when they're first starting to use the pouches, will not be able to get all of the food up by themselves because it takes a lot to kind of suck everything out. So this helps kind of take that down so you're not having to take it apart, take the pouch and squeeze more air out. This kind of does the job for you. So you almost like moon the bottom over this little hutch that's here and then squeeze it into this and with the notch, the notch sticking up and then you just close it right up and you hand it to him. This has been a lifesaver. I gave it to him when we were in the stroller and when we were in the car seat and he can't squeeze it. They did, ha they have mentioned um, uh, when I was reading through like the little instruction thing that kind of comes with it that if you notice that they're able to not necessarily pull it apart but if it's like coming apart because they're throwing it or anything like that you can actually put like a hairband around the center to keep it shut I know if I did that my son would just play with it all the time but it is great for that and I have not noticed him attempting to try to open it at all but we have no issues fitting the pouches that we use in here so it's been terrific for that and even when he poured it upside down because he does that sometimes nothing came out so it's been terrific we've really been liking it now when you do get it you will have two sheets of paper. This just describes what the nozzles are that work with this, some of the brands that work with it, and what doesn't work with it. So that is very helpful. So you can kind of see right up front. And this is just another reiteration of the directions on how to put the pouch in there. It is kind of tough at first, but then once you get it, you will be golden. Yeah, so these were relatively affordable 
for a two-pack it was $14.99 or $14.95 that's what I paid for it and I think these are well worth it they do come in different colors you can either get two of the same color two different colors I know they have the pink maybe a purple and we have this kind of teal color and a deeper blue because we have two boys so yeah I love these I think these are genius if you have a child that takes pouches but you want to be mess free because who doesn't definitely look into this I know there's a lot of other brands but we do really like this when he uses it we don't really have to open it back up and check to see if it's all gone or not if he is done and it is gone this does a really good job about kind of getting all that air out and all the product up so that it is just the product that he is getting so we really like that and I thought I would share it with you as just something neat if you guys like this video or have tried the pouch pal definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below and other than that I don't have anything else for you so I hope you're having a terrific day and I'll see you all very soon bye guys